A violent blast of wind turned a night of music into a night of screams. Thousands of people gathered for a concert at the Indiana State Fair stared in disbelief as a sudden gust blew down the huge stage, knocking tens of thousands of pounds to the ground in a mammoth crash. It took about five seconds and it was down. You see it and it happens and you just ask, did it really happen? Tons of wreckage toppled in a heap, trapping some in the audience. And then all of a sudden it just collapsed, like right where we were sitting, like about two minutes ago. It went so fast, there was nothing nobody could do. Horrified spectators rallied to the rescue, trying with their bare hands to free those pinned by the mass of mangled metal. People rushed to, to move the chairs out of the way that were blocking access to picking up the debris and started trying to lift the, the stage. Emergency crews were quickly on scene, racing more than 40 victims to the hospital. The fatal gust preceded a predicted storm, but was apparently a freak occurrence. This was an isolated, significant wind gust. The tragedy sparked spontaneous heroism and generosity. Nurses, uh, EMTs, doctors came to state police, um, to fire department that said, what can we do to help? But individual Hoosiers ran to the trouble, not from the trouble. Investigations are now underway into how safely the stage was constructed and whether storm warnings should have prompted an evacuation. The band Sugarland had not taken the stage yet, and singer Sarah Borales had just wrapped up her set when the rigging over the stage collapsed.